Candy, you're the resident expert when it comes to cooking, definitely not me. What are we gonna be doing today? Uh, I'm gonna show you a couple different recipes today. The first one is a very simple, basic, yet delectable uh, New England baked flounder. And then I'm also gonna be preparing a corn and apple stuffed flounder, which is a little bit more sophisticated, but it's worth the extra work. This is gonna be for the apple and corn stuffed flounder fillets. So we're gonna start just by cutting right through the center about halfway down. Be careful not to go all the way through the fillet. Turn your knife horizontal. And we're just gonna carefully work this back. Go slow, take your time. Make sure you don't puncture all the way through. We're just gonna repeat that on the second side. And this is gonna form a nice pocket. Here you go, it's a butterfly flounder filet. Now we're gonna make the stuffing for our corn and apple stuffed flounder. we we'll start just a little olive oil in the pan. We're gonna saute our onions. We're gonna need one ear of corn and one apple. Then goes the corn and the apple that we diced up. Now it's gonna take about five minutes. After that point, the apples are gonna start kind of softening up and that's when the stuffing will be ready. Now we're just gonna add in about a quarter of a cup of dry white wine. We'll add in about a tablespoon of melted butter. Give that a nice stir. And then we're gonna add our breadcrumbs. Give that a stir, turn off the heat. We're gonna take those butterfly flute fillets and we're gonna put about a quarter of a cup of our stuffing in there. You don't wanna overstuff it because it will expand a little bit as it's cooking. We're just gonna seal that guy up like a burrito and place it cut side down on a metal baking dish. I'm just gonna hit these with a little dusting of salt and pepper and just a quick little drizzle of olive oil. We have our oven preheated to 400 degrees. We're gonna cook these for anywhere from 10 to 14 minutes uh, until they start to flake and get a little bit browned on the top. This is a very simple yet delectable New England baked flounder. Uh, this is a recipe I've been eating since I was a little kid. It's one of my favorites. This is like comfort food to me. All right, we're gonna start this off by making some cracker crumbs. Just open up the top of the sleeve. I'm just gonna put our hand on there. Lay into it on the countertop. So you're gonna to wanna to use a ceramic pan for this, not a metal pan. If you go with a metal pan, chances are you're gonna end up burning your cracker crumbs. I'm just gonna take these, lay a thin layer inside the pan, just enough to almost cover the bottom of the pan. Now we need some butter. The juice of half a lime to that. We're also gonna jazz that up with a couple of hits of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Not a lot, we don't want this to be a spicy dish. The hot sauce does give it a nice little undertone of heat. And drizzle just a little bit of that in the first layer of breadcrumbs. And now we're gonna lay our beautiful fluke fillets on that bed of cracker crumbs. Good rule of thumb is when you're cooking thinner fillets like this, we're just gonna tuck that underneath and that's gonna give us an equal thickness throughout the fillet. Right, we've got our fillets placed in the pan on top of the breadcrumbs. We're just gonna hit them with just a very light coat of salt and pepper. Just a little bit more butter, melted butter on top. And some more Ritz cracker crumbs onto the top. You want to make sure you get them evenly coated. And another quick drizzle of the butter mixture. And another thin layer of the cracker crumbs. For this recipe, you want to get your oven nice and hot. I like to go as hot as it'll go. We got this bad boy up to 500 degrees. I also like to move the rack up to the very top position that helps it brown on the top of the dish. Fire that tray in there and that'll take about 10, 12 minutes. It should be nice and golden brown on top and we'll pig out on it. He started a column and Andy actually spearheaded called Living Off the Land and Sea. He's done, a, he's done an amazing job with that. Thank you. Yeah, we're, uh, we're very lucky to have such abundant seafood around us, and uh, it's really, you know, not that hard to find a good meal uh, if you just know where to look, and fluke is one of my all-time favorite fishes to eat. Thanks for bringing it to us. If you'd like to learn more about today's show, log on to onthewater.com. From Andy Nebreski, Chris Megan at On The Water, we hope you enjoyed the show. I'm going to dig in. Let's this eat. This is the one time that I think the camera guys like being cameramen. <laughs> they actually <laughs> get to enjoy this. Three plates for them.